يا أيها الذين آمنوا كتب عليكم الصيام كما كتب على الذين من قبلكم لعلكم تتقون السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته But dear brothers and sisters and respected elders Welcome to another session where we discuss the major signs of the last day And today's session we'll be discussing about the sun rising from the west assalamu alaikum my dear brother lothi wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh i hope you're well i'm okay thank you good so i'm going to run through some questions if you can help myself and the viewers understand about the sun rising from the west inshallah so what should every muslim know about the sun rising from the west as a sign of the day of judgment Alhamdulillahi wahdah, wa salatu wa salamu ala man la nabiyya ba'dah. All praises are due to Allah alone, and may his peace and blessings be upon his final messenger, who there is no prophet after him, sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Alhamdulillah, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam informed us in Sahih Muslim in the same hadith which we mentioned a number of times in the previous episodes, walillahi alhamd, the hadith of Hudayfa ibn Asid al-Ghifari, radiyallahu anhu ardah, he says that you will not be able to see the Day of Judgment or to witness the Day of Judgment until, until ten major signs will take place. And he mentioned one of them. One of them is what? The sun rising from, from the west. طُلُوعُ الشَّمْسِ مِنَ الْمَغْرِبِ And he, sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam, mentioned in Sahih Bukhari that لَا تَقُومُ السَّاعَةُ حَتَّى تَطْلُعَ الشَّمْسُ مِنْ مَغْرِبِهَا فإذا رآها الناس فإذا طلعت ورآها الناس آمنوا أجمعون وذلك حين لا ينفع نفسا إيمانها صلى الله عليه وسلم He says the day of judgment will not happen until the sun rises from the west and this is the time when people when people will all believe when they see it when they see it rising from the west they will all believe but their belief will not will not help them it will not be accepted. As we know, brothers and sisters in Islam, since Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created the sun, it always rose from, from the east. But when that appointed time comes, at the end of time, it will rise from where? From the west. And this is something very unusual and very strange to us humans. Mm -hmm. Your belief at that time, if you never believed before the sun rising from the west, will not help you, mm -hmm. will not benefit you at all. And then he recited an ayah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam from Surah Al-An'am after he finished the hadith. يَوْمَ يَأْتِي بَعْضُ آيَاتِ رَبِّكَ On that day, some, some signs from your Lord will arrive. I.e. when the appointed time for the sun to rise from the west, uh -huh, this sign will be very clear and visible to everyone. Everybody will see the sun. You know in the morning mm -hmm. when you look at the sun, everybody can see it no matter where you are. Yeah. لا ينفع نفسا إيمانها لم تكن آمنت من قبل أو كسبت في إيمانها خيرا. When that happens, your faith will not help you if you just repented or reverted, sure. or you had no goodness in your faith at all. I.e., your faith was corrupt. It's no repentance, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. So this is one of the major, one of the major signs of the day, of the day of resurrection. So the Prophet of Islam وسلم, informed us that this will happen and it will certainly, it will certainly happen. Now. Sure. now that we know that uh, this uh, event will happen, do we have any knowledge when it might happen, when it will take place? The Prophet of Islam وسلم, mentioned in one hadith in Sahih Muslim reported by Abdullah ibn Amr ibn As. He says, "Inna awwal al-ayat khuruj, khurujan, tulu' al-shams min maghribiha." The first major sign that will come out is the sun rising from the west. The sun rising from, from the west. Wa khuruj al-dabba, and the emerge or the emerging of of the beast. A beast will come out, and we'll speak about this next episode, inshallah ta'ala. Alan Nas, Duhan. So this beast will come out to the people at Duha time, i.e. after the sunrise. Wa ayyuhuma 
ما كانت قبل صاحبتها فالأخرى على إثرها قريبا Whichever comes out first the second one will follow immediately after right. I, If the sun comes out rises from the west before the coming out of the beast then the beast will come out some scholars like Ibn Hajar they say the same day mm. they say the same day very shortly after after the first one takes place so this hadith it tells us that it is the first sign the ulama they say the first sign after Isa alayhi salam dies mm -hmm. after the death of Ya'juj and Ma'juj after the death of al Masih al-Dajjal the death of al Mahdi al-Muntadhar the death of Isa alayhi salam so when Isa passes away Muslims and Islam flourish in walillahi alhamd but after some time shaitan will convince mm -hmm. some people unfortunately and they will deviate from as sirat al mustaqim the true path and they would go back some of them to paganism yeah. to worshipping idols wala hawla wala quwwata illa billah so when people rebel against the will of Allah and they're so corrupt and there is so much mischief on earth and injustice and corruption, there will still be Muslims there, of course, but there will be lots of corruption, lots mm. of corruption. At that time, Allah will order the sun to rise from, from the worst. And shortly after that, according to lots of scholars, within the same day, the beast will come out. And we'll speak about this later, inshallah ta'ala. Mm. So this is when it will when it will happen. That's what the Prophet means, that it will be the first major sign. It means after the death of, of Isa alayhi salam. Sure. Because when the sun rises from the worst, mm. there is no repentance. Nobody can revert to Islam and no sinner can be, can be righteous. No sinner can be can be righteous anymore, nothing will be accepted. So uh, this is at the very end, at the very end of time now. Sure. So brother, tell us, how would the sun rise from the west? What is the actual, um, you know, the event, how does it rise? Um, yes, it is very unusual for us to understand mm. how, if you ask any scientist, if you ask yeah. any, any well-educated person in this field, is it possible for the sun to rise from the west? They will tell you no. This is this is uh, this is really impossible. Mm -hmm. it, it doesn't work. But remember, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. If Allah wishes for something to take place, right. He says to it be, okay. and it will be. إنما أمره إذا أراد شيئا. This is the ayah. Astaghfirullah. Maybe I made it wrong earlier. إنما أمره إذا أراد شيئا أن يقول له كن. At the end of Surah Yasin, Allah says, His order, if He wishes it to be, all He says to it is be, and it comes, and it comes to be. Subhanahu wa ta'ala jalla fi'ulah. This is it. Wallahu ala kulli shayin qadir. Fa'alun lima yurid. Allah is capable of doing everything, and He does whatever He wants. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, how it does rise from the West. There is a hadith that Rasulullah sallam informed us how this will take place. The hadith of Abi Dhar radiallahu anhu arda. And the hadith is reported by Imam Muslim as well as Imam al-Bukhari. He says, once he was sitting with the Sahaba and then he told them, أَتَدْرُونَ أَيْنَ تَذْهَبُ هَذِهِ الشَّمْسِ Do you know where the sun goes when it does set Maghrib time? Do you know where it goes? When it's no longer there in the sky visible, قالوا الله ورسوله أعلم. The Sahaba they said, Allah and His Messenger know best. قال عليه الصلاة والسلام إن هذه تجري حتى تنتهي إلى مستقرها تحت العرش فتخر ساجدة ولا تزال كذلك حتى يقال لها ارتفعي ارجعي من حيث جئتي. It will go. It will go. It will glide. Until it reaches the place of its settling, resting, and that's under the arsh of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Under the arsh of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and it will be in a state of sujood. It will do what? Prostration, sujood, before the Almighty subhanahu wa ta'ala, Jalla Jalala. And it will remain in that state until it will be told, obviously, by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to go back where he came from. Mm -hmm. Because it came from the east and it set at the west. So it has to go back from where it comes from so it can rise from where? From the east again in the morning. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, mm -hmm. so it will keep doing that. It will keep doing that every day until one day Allah Subhanahu wa Taala will say to it, "Rise from where you are. Mm -hmm. Rise from where? From where you are, because it sets at what? West. West. Yeah. Rise from here." And it does say nothing but attain a ta'ain. We hear and we obey. Mm -hmm. We obey. And it does rise from the west. At that very time, no belief will help anyone who never believed before. No repentance will be in use for anyone who never repented before. At that time, the day of judgment is a step away. Mm. Step away from that event. Now, so this is how it rises and this is what what we know this is what we know from the Quran of Allah and, and the Sunnah of our beloved Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam we're not going to go into details how it works in science and so on and so forth uh, we just believe wherever we hear from the Quran and from the Sunnah as long as the hadith is authentic mm -hmm. it's our belief sure. it's our it's our belief no. sure. so you mentioned about uh, the time of repentance. Would the gates of Tawbah be closed at that point completely, or would there be any chance for anyone to repent after this event takes place? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala destined that after this incident takes place, no gates of Tawbah will be open. No gates of Tawbah will be open. Rasulullah says in Sahih Muslim, من تاب قبل أن تطلع الشمس من مغربها تاب الله عليه. Whoever repents to Allah before the sun rises from the west, Allah will accept their repentance. This hadith is in Sahih Muslim. Mm -hmm. I.e., if you do repent after the sun rises from the west, your tawbah will be rejected. There is another hadith in Sahih Muslim again by Abu Hurairah. He says, Sallallahu Badiru bil a'mali sitan. Hasten in terms of doing, uh, when it comes to doing good deeds. Be active in doing good deeds. Don't stop. Uh -huh. There will be before six, before six actions or six events, make sure you're hastening in doing good deeds. Mm -hmm. At Dajjal, before the Dajjal comes out. What Dukhan, the smoke. Mm -hmm. And this is something we will speak about, inshallah ta'ala, later in a separate episode. Mm -hmm. And at Dabba. The beast that will come out from earth. We'll speak about this soon, inshallah ta'ala, too. وَطُلُوعُ الشَّمْسِ مِنْ مَغْرِبِهَا And when the sun rises from the west. These are five. وَأَمْرَ الْعَامَّةِ وَخُوَيِّصَةَ أَحَدِكُمْ And the death of masses, groups of people, and individuals. So he is telling us, that we should hasten in doing good deeds before any of these six events will take place. The gel, the smoke, the beast coming out from earth, the sun rising from the west, and this is our topic, and before the death that will take us or take groups of people, take you as a person, I, before an unexpected death comes to you, mm -hmm. or a death that will take lots of people at once. Mm -hmm. We have to repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And there is another hadith by Abu Musa al-Ash'ari in Sahih Muslim. He is, sallallahu alayhi wa says, Allah azza wa jalla yabsutu yadahu bil-layli liyatub musi' al-nahar. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala extends his hand in a way which befits his majesty and glory beyond our understanding so that the sinner, the sinner, who sins in the morning, he repents to Allah at night time. So mm -hmm. Allah extends his hand at night time mm -hmm. to those who sin in the morning yeah. so that they can repent to him. And he does, he does it at another time during the daytime. Allah extends his hand for people to repent during the daytime so the people who sinned at night time would repent to him. I tell by is open. Yes. It's open at all times, night time, morning time, evening, at all times. Mm -hmm. Until the sun rises from the west. I.e., Allah will always extend his hand for people who want to embrace his faith and his repentance and his obedience. But once the sun rises from the west, you will not have that repentance anymore. 
Serious, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Serious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the thing, we don't know what it will happen. No, we don't we know. We don't know. If we lived after Isa, alayhi salam, we don't know when this will happen. Just like yeah. you don't know when you die, yeah. you don't know. Exactly. Um, yeah. There is another hadith of Muawiyah, with Abiy Sufyan, Muawiyah. He mentioned, سمعت ورى رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم يقول لا تنقطع الهجرة حتى تنقطع التوبة ولا تنقطع التوبة حتى تطلع الشمس من مغربها هجرة for Allah's sake, migration for Allah's sake will never stop until until Tawbah is stopped and Tawbah will not be stopped until the sun rises rises from the west في سنة أبي داود so um, that's how it is there is another narration and it's, uh, it's worthy of mentioning it this is not a literal hadith from the Prophet. This is the statement of Aisha radiallahu anha ardaha, rawah al-Tabrani. She said, إِذَا خَرَجَتْ أَوَّلِ الْآيَاتِ When the first major sign comes out, طُرِحَتِ الْأَقْلَامِ The pants of the angels who write our good deeds and bad deeds are what? Are dropped. No longer writes. Because there is no repentance. Yeah, yeah. Nothing. There is no good or bad to be written. That's it. وَطُوِيَتْ صُحُفْ And the scriptures the angels were writing, they folded, they are folded. Uh, the angels who were uh, recording everything, they've done their duty, that's it. And then the bodies will be a witness mm -hmm. for the deeds. Subhanallah. And this is our ayat, it refers to the sun rising from, the sun rising from the west. And some scholars, they say, after Isa comes down, that's it, there is no repentance. And some, they say, no, after the death of Isa, because people will deviate, some will remain Muslim and some will deviate, so repentance will be granted again by Allah, but once the sun rises from the west or the beast comes up, that's it, close completely. Yeah. Close completely. So Allah al-Afiyah min dhalik, ameen ya rabbil alameen. There is another narration, riwayah of Abdullah uh, ibn Amr, uh, and it's hadith mawquf, it's a statement of a sahabi, he says, tabqa al-nas ba'da tulu' al-shams min maghribiha ishreena People will live 120 years after the sun rises from the west. How long they will be after the sun rising from the west to the literal day of judgment, mm -hmm. the first sound of the horn, 120 years. This is not necessarily accurate mm -hmm. because it's a statement of a Sahabi. Though its narration it's not very authentic. Some scholars such as Al-Hafidh, Al-Asqalani, he said that this is this is okay, it's, 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 it's a narration, it's acceptable, okay? So, mm -hmm. but we know it will be very short after that. Yes. After the sun rises from the west, the day of judgment is a step away from that. Whether 100 years, or 120, or whatever it is, it is short. It is short. Now, uh, and I remind myself and I remind the viewers to repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala before that takes place now. So, we mentioned uh, Tawbah repentance uh, which is the most crucial part of uh, before the day when the sun rises from the west can you please go over the conditions of uh, the toba the conditions of toba repentance mm -hmm. there are five conditions brothers and sisters in islam please remember for the rest of your life for those of you who know it's a reminder for those of you who don't know it's something new to learn and to remember for the rest of your life number one al iqla anil maasiyah Abandon the sin you are sinning. Leave it. Stop it. And Nadam, you regret. The second one, you regret the sins that you've committed before. Don't be proud of them. Mm -hmm. Don't bring them to your mention. Because and Nadam, Tawbah. The Prophet says, regret is Tawbah. Number three, Al Azm and La Tarja ila tilk al Ma'asi. You affirm that you should not go back to those sins which you repented from. Make a commitment, make mm -hmm. a promise with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mm -hmm. that you should not, you should not go back to them. That's three. Number four, Raddul Hukuk ila ahliha. Giving back the things which, be, the things where they belong. For example, if you wronged someone and took their money or property or something, make sure you give it back to them. Mm -hmm. Look for them or for, uh, find their family members or give sadaq on their behalf. There's always options how to make that up, inshallah ta'ala. Yeah. That's number four. And number five, you repent before death comes to you. Mm -hmm. The Prophet says, Allah will accept the tawbah of his servant for as long as death hasn't reached his throat. Mm -hmm. You haven't seen the angel of death. Right. Allah will accept your tawbah. 
But if you see the angel of death and the days of death comes to you, Tawbah is too late. As Allah says, I'm going to mention the ayah at the end. Mm -hmm. There is the sixth condition for Tawbah for those people who will live at that time or close to that time. Uh, and it can be asked, Wallahu ta'ala a'lam, uh, repenting before the sun rises from, mm -hmm. from the west. Because we learned that once that happens, the Tawbah will be closed. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran Karim, وَلَيْسَتِ التَّوْبَةُ لِلَّذِينَ يَعْمَلُونَ السَّيِّئَاتِ حَتَّى إِذَا حَدَرَ أَحَدَهُمُ الْمَوْتِ قَالَ إِنِّي تُبْتُ الْآنِ Tawbah is not for those who continuously commit sins, and when death comes to one of them, he says, I now repent. Mm -hmm. It's too late. Yes. It's too late. So you repent before death comes to you, before the sun rises from the west, before, uh, before you end the anger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Mm -hmm. That's why the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu says, وَالَّذِي نَفْسِي بِيَدِهِ I swear by Allah, إِنِّي لَأَسْتَغْفِرُ اللَّهَ وَأَتُوبُ إِلَيْهِ فِي الْيَوْمِ أَكْثَرَ مِنْ سَبْعِينَ مَرَّةً By the one who control my life, Allah. I seek Allah's forgiveness and I repent to him more than 70 times a day. Mm -hmm. And in one narration, 100 times. Yeah. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. May Allah grant us a righteous, a righteous and upright tawbah. Ameen, ya Rabbil Alameen. Barakallahu feekum. Thank you very much, Brother Lofi. That was uh, explained very detailed. And may we all benefit from this particular ep information that's in the episode, but also in the other episodes that you may have missed. So please watch our other videos. And uh, please share this message with your brothers, your sisters, with your colleagues, with anybody that you know that can benefit, because you will, you will benefit from this as well. So may Allah give us the time and uh, the opportunity to repent in whatever we've uh, done in our lives. So my dear brothers and sisters, until next time, thank you for joining us. Jazakumullah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.